Hi everyone! My name is Hannah White and I'm a part-time reference librarian at Washington State University Vancouver. Today I'm going to walk you through the basics of our database SAGE Research Methods. SAGE Research Methods is a great database for learning and teaching about research methods that you can access from your home computer. From the library homepage, we'll click the link on the left to view the list of databases. SAGE Research Methods is the third database down when you click on S. I'm logging on from outside the library, so I need to enter my network ID and password to continue. That's the same ID and password you'd use for Blackboard, Office 365, or Zoom. Now that we're at the home page, there are a few different ways we can get started. Uh, at the top of the page here, you'll see this option to do a simple or an advanced search. Let's do a simple search for participant observation, and we'll see what happens. It looks like we got a ton of results. So if I scroll down here, I can see that the top few entries are book chapters, or they might be reference entries, like this encyclopedia here. If I go back up to the top right, there is a box that I can use to narrow down my uh, search results using these limiters. So I can search within my results here, or I can also narrow by content type, or discipline, or publication type. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the top result here, which is this book chapter. And now that we're here, I can read this chapter in my browser. I can also click this button to download a PDF to read offline, or I can go back to the book to navigate through other parts of it, or I can also navigate through the chapters of the book here. In addition to books, Sage Research Methods has several multimedia resources available. So I'm going to go back to the homepage by clicking their logo on the top left. And then if we scroll down past this search box, then you can see the other content types that are available. So you can see they have links for books, video, reference again, that would be an encyclopedia or a dictionary or something like that. You can also click to see these case studies, examples of real research. There are real data sets you can download to practice with. And then if you scroll down further, you can also narrow down their library by discipline instead. So if you wanted to look at only psychology related books and articles, or if you wanted to look at only education or whatever, you could do that as well. And all content types can be further narrowed by discipline and all disciplines can be further narrowed by content type or research method. So example, if I click on economics here, you'll see I get that same search screen where I can then narrow down to specific results. And then the last thing I want to do is check out a couple of the specialized tools available through Sage. So I'm going to go back to the home page and first we're going to check out this project planner under the I want to section with these different content types. And this is a step-by-step -step overview of the research process. They've got how-to articles for each step and links to learn more by searching in Sage. So I can jump around between different parts with the links on the left here, and they're all going to be available to download as PDFs. You can also click these hyperlinks to learn more. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the methods map. So again, I'm going to go back to the homepage here and scroll almost all the way down and we'll click this button here to explore the methods map. You may have noticed when we did our original search that the top top result above that book chapter was actually a link to the methods map. What this is is basically a list of subjects that are used in the database and you can use this tool to interact with these different subjects, navigate between broader, narrower, and related terms. And you can also search for each subject term once you have navigated to that. Thanks for watching this video about Sage Research Methods. Don't forget to stay tuned into this channel to learn more about all of our other awesome library resources, and be sure to ask a librarian if you have questions or need help. See you next time!